Good morning and welcome to Earnings Edge right here on NETV Profit. We're now in conversation with uh, Sirma on the back of the quarter one earnings, which saw strong revenue growth of roughly about 93 or percent, but on profitability there was a slight impact in degrowth. To talk more about the Q1 numbers as well as the deep dive into the verticals that the company operates in, we're now joined by Mr. Gujral, the, the managing director of the company. Mr. Gujral, thank you so much for joining us today and a very good morning to you. Uh, just thank to you start very much. off with you know, uh, the Q1 numbers specifically, we've seen a very strong revenue growth across verticals like consumer, IT, as well as healthcare. Uh, but margins have been down in this particular quarter by about 440 basis points, coming at around the 5% range. Uh, just if you could just talk us through, you know, uh, what has led to this uh, margin fall? Is this an increased penetration of the consumer growth sector? Uh, and just on these verticals as well, sir. See, the business this uh, quarter has been good. We have grown by 92% odd in the total revenue of the company. And as I had uh, said in my earlier uh, calls, that uh, the business mix is seasonal. Uh, so in the first quarter, we saw a high proportionate growth of uh, consumer business, which stood at about 54%. Now, this 54% uh, uh, consumer business led to a contraction in the material margin. We had a 4% saving in the operating overheads, and hence the uh, EBITDA margin contracted by about 2%. So we're very confident that going forward, uh, the annualized earnings which we had uh, sort of uh, guided and the EBITDA margin, the plans remain intact. The high margin business would kick off in the coming quarters. First quarter was comparatively slow on exports also. Exports were only 16% of our revenue against a targeted figure of 20 plus. So going forward in the remaining three quarters, we believe and we are confident that the business would come back to normal with uh, the revenue growth of what we had guided and a bit of about 315 crores is in line of achievement. Uh, just wanted to get into you know the verticals that you operate in. You didn't mention about the consumer sector, but another strong growth engine is of course the IT as well as the railway space. Uh, I just wanted to, you know, talk us through these particular two verticals. What within these what segments are you are you targeting uh, for both IT as well as railway going forward? See, IT growth is still nascent. We have the IT PLI, but uh, we are in the process of tying up with some customers. There's nothing concrete as of date, so I would not be able to put a figure on the IT business. On the railways business, we have orders. And uh, as I had guided earlier, this year we should expect railways to be anything between 60 to 70 crores of revenue uh, in this year. The verticals which we operate upon are automotive, industrial, healthcare, railways, and consumer. So all the verticals are seeing a growth, and we have uh, tied up with some uh, good brands in the industrial sector. Uh, which uh, would see turnovers coming in the second to third quarter of this financial year. Uh, just if I could, uh, you know, come back on on the IT part. You said that you are still tying up with customers and looking to, you know, increase that particular business. Uh, but you already are applicable. So this is the IT hardware PLI, if, if I'm not wrong. And uh, what kind of uh, PLI benefit did you have in the last year? And are you expecting the same in this particular year as well? See, IT PLI, we, didn't, we got the applica uh, application approved in November of last year, November of 23. So there was no IT PLI benefit factored in the books because uh, we got the uh, approval pretty late. In the current year, we are tying up with vendors uh, where we can uh, leverage the application of uh, IT PLI, which we have got. But currently, there is nothing concrete on the table and hence, I really can't uh, put a figure uh, to it that what will be the IT revenue because of the PLI application. We do our IT revenue of about 70, 80 crores. That will continue in the normal course of the business. But how much leverage we can get out of the IT PLI application, uh, I really can't say a figure today till I tie up with a customer. Uh, understood, sir. And uh, anything on railways, uh, are you also currently uh, doing orders for the coverage because we are expecting some orders and a, and a big push uh, over the next couple of years. We've seen some commentary in the budget as well. 
uh, are you already tied up with some customers for this or are having conversations? And uh, if not, Kavach, what other verticals do you operate within railways? See, in railways, we have tied up with a Japanese ODM supplier, which is uh, 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 sort of uh, doing the Kavach and the other safety signaling equipments. So we are a tier two. We have an ODM Japanese partner for which we would be making and then supplying it to the railways. Uh, now, uh, just wanted to talk about, you know, the healthcare uh, division as well. You know, we've seen uh, an increased focus uh, for the company in this particular vertical. And uh, you, are, you made an acquisition also of a company called JDHL last year. And, uh, in, you know, you did inform that you have a research design center coming up in Pune as well. If you could just talk us through uh, what has been the focus and what could we expect uh, from, from this vertical? You are also focusing on a lot in ODM in, in the medical space as well. Uh, but within the EMS segment, we've seen medical equipment being very subdued for most players. So how, if in, in, for your cinema specifically, if you could talk us through this vertical and what kind of expectations do you have for this year? See, for the healthcare business, including medtech devices, uh, our plans are intact and we uh, expect to do a significant revenue of about 350 plus crores, uh, which would be both EMS and the products. Uh, the design center which you have set up in Pune uh, will be commissioned uh, later part of this month. And we already have got some good leads into the ODM designing contracts. I'm not at a liberty to name the customer, but we have got a good uh, $2 million contract on designing for a medical device, uh, the revenues of which, this is a designing uh, uh, income which I am referring to, but the product uh, income would flow it in the coming uh, years, 25, 26, 26, 27. On a whole, the medtech business looks to be on a sound footing. And as I just uh, guided that we should be ending up the year with about 350 crores of uh, healthcare business. Uh, well, Mr. Gujral, thank you so much for joining us today right here at Energy Profit and speaking to us in, in a very detailed conversation for quarter one. Uh, we wish you the best and uh, commiserations for re being reappointed for the next five years. So look forward to our next conversation as well. So, But thank you so much for yeah. joining us today. Thank you very much.